This is a nice flat course. I want to get a little bit close to the front. I want to try for a good time this week. Uh, it's a mixture of tarmac, compacted soil, and the weather's been good, so the ground's nice and firm. And we're off. There's a short section. You go in this direction, and then you come back, uh, do a U-turn to the left, and come back up the uh, the river. Just going to lift my camera up and have a quick look behind. That does help me slow down a little bit at the start. I'm just getting the camera back on, but I want to sort of get into my pace, but not be not be too fast that I get tired. Just trying to remember, I must start a little bit slower each week. quite cool at this point in the morning but you can tell it's going to get warm so do a left turn here and we're on to uh, it's like a compacted gravel path it's quite nice to run on you can see the river to the right and this is an out and back course as well so once we get to the far end which is just by the A69 we'll do a U-turn and then come back uh, this same way but it's, it's a little bit further maybe another 100 meters to the finish uh, compared to where the star was. around this corner we're going to go just to the left onto a slightly different path and we're now running on this is just compacted soil through the trees where the grass is all worn out so I can imagine in winter uh, this could be full of puddles and mud it's pretty flat to run on though so it's not too bad to be in my pace now and I know on most park runs after sort of a fair distance you tend to most people seem to have settled into where you're going to be guys in front slowly edging out away from me are offering some shade from the sun that's up so it does actually feel it feels coolish at the moment but uh, I think it's going to get warmer as uh, as we go through this run Because this is a flat course I can get into my pace now and just try and keep going at this pace. Trying to stay as close as I am to four minutes a kilometre. still on the compacted soil but it's lovely and firm to run on this time of year it could be just like running on a nice smooth uh, tarmac path although there is some bits that are gravelly on this course you, if you're trying to push your feet could slip a bit especially on the u-turns you've got to be careful
game front doesn't seem to be getting any further away from me but the ones in front of him seem to have extended out uh, their gap I think we're running at a very similar pace to each other here As you can see, it's quite a long uh, stretch, this bit through the trees just here. But we're going to cut through here now, and then once we go through here, Thank we're you. at the side of the railway line, and we're onto a nice tarmac path. My favourite running service, surface. You can see the railway at the side. I'm sure they've organised for a train to come past in each direction while we're on here as well. It's quite narrow this at point, so they did say to make sure you keep left because with it being an out and back, uh, it's not too far before we're going to turn around and come back and uh, everyone will be coming uh, in both directions. Uh, yeah, I can hear a train coming now. I'm just going to move over to the right so I can look across, here it comes, perfect timing I think when we're on this path now it can't be too far to the turning point which is, is just slightly less than halfway just because you run an extra 100 metres uh, towards the finish from where the start was going to keep an eye out for the lead runners coming towards me at some point and then I'll know that uh, we're not too far from the turning point. There's the slightest bit of undulation on here as you can see we're, up, we're level with the railway line now but uh, I didn't actually notice it and now we're going lower down. You can start to feel the warmth from the sun now we're actually in the sun and not in the shade of the trees as well feeling really warm but still feeling really good game front's not getting away from me and I'm not catching him up either In my mind I'm thinking this section along here seems longer than I thought. I thought it was just a short section on a tarmac path to the turning point but uh, can't be too far now. Just again keeping an eye out to see if I can see the lead runners coming towards me. It's always a sign that uh, it's not too far to the turning point. see the bridge for the A69 so we must be that's where the turning point is they said so the lead runners should be coming back towards us any second yep here they are yeah I can see the cone and the turning now thank you And that's it, that's probably nearly half the course done, roughly. I do like out and back, you get to see everyone else. There were a few people I was speaking to before, so I'll keep an eye out for those. 
still feeling really good at this point, trying to maintain my pace, like I said, of four minutes a kilometre. That seems to be going fairly well. someone there I was in a rush I'm still feeling quite good I'm feeling really warm with the sun but uh, I'm starting to get uh, tired but we're probably around the three kilometers at this point this is always the point where I seem to the three to four struggle with my uh, pace is where I can lose a few seconds The path, this path is narrow, but I've not had any problem uh, getting down there where people are coming towards us or vice versa. And the train while we're going with the direction. Just something to take my mind off running with the train going fast. tarmac path and then we're back into the through the trees and the compacted soil but like I said it's so firm today it's just it's like running on tarmac really quite nice to run on today I seem to have I didn't really notice till this point I've caught this guy up in front I think I, my mind must have been on other things and suddenly there he was just in front of me so this is the point where I'm really struggling now a little bit with my pace. I'm going to try and hang on to him best I can through here and see how it goes. behind me, thinking someone else is catching up and going to pass. Yeah, here he is. The other guy just seems to have opened the gap a little bit. It's like as I get closer to him, I don't know if he can hear my breathing and he then picks up his pace, but probably not quite on the last kilometre, but probably getting up to about four kilometres now, and I think I've lost a few seconds on this kilometre, maybe five or six seconds, but I'm just going to try and hang on with, uh, with him, using this other guy who passed me to try and help me pick my pace to uh, pull me along a little bit. Thank <sighs> you. 
Feeling really tired now, but I know it's not too far to the finish, so just in case of trying to hang on at this point. Just trying to keep an eye on the right with my peripheral vision as well, see if I can see where the uh, finish is. It's still the golf course there at the moment, I think it is. see the path on the left by the river now so it can't be too far to where we cut through onto that path uh, and then a u-turn and back up to the finish just looking again to the right there just to see if i can see where the finish is but we're not quite there yet and i can see the finish now just over to the right just there not sure the camera's picking it up gravel path now cut through to the path next thank to the you. river so now maybe it's just uh, thank you 150 yeah. meters 200 meters and then a u-turn and the same same distance back <coughs> just looking through there to the that's the, where the play area was where the start was See the lead runners coming through here, going the other way. Counting all the good runners going in the other direction, working out. I think I'm in tenth place at this point. I just can't seem to uh, make any inroads on catching this gap in front. So we've turned now. We're on the last little bit. I had a quick look at my watch there. I think it was 18 minutes 34. So in my mind, I'm now thinking: Can I get up to the finish in less than a minute and a half? nice to have a time 20 minutes or under but I don't think it's going to happen today see the children's play area now so we're going to turn left onto this field uh, it's a grass finish but the grass is nice and firm today I feel really really tired feel like there's nothing left but in my mind the thing I always think is I always imagine this guy in front is getting the gold medal at the Olympics I'm only getting the silver it's a one-off chance I've got to push everything into this but every time I've caught him up he seems to have picked his pace up quick look at my watch not going to be uh, under 20 minutes it does make me think should I have tried harder but I couldn't have tried harder so pushing on to get past him I don't think he's got anything left either he's not uh, not responded seem to get as close as I can to 20 minutes 
and that's 20 minutes 7 seconds and 81% age grade today so I'm really pleased with that